State saw anywhere from one to near four inches of snow yesterday. Esterville coming in with nearly two inches. Peterville almost or Peterson rather three inches and Lawton also three inches. So we'll be watching some of those reports come in over the next couple of hours. One of the spots that saw snow was Algona and it still remains on the ground there this morning. No official report out of Algona yet, but we'll wait to see what we get. Temperature there 28 degrees with a wind chill of 20. No snow in Marshalltown this morning. Cloudy skies though and temperature 31 and winds out of the north at around 15 miles per hour. Here locally today, we will work our way back into the mid 30s coming up this afternoon with a chance for some light snow, especially over central and southern parts of the state. Not expecting any significant accumulations, but some flakes could certainly be flying as we move into the midday and early afternoon hours. You can see the snow over parts of eastern Nebraska and far western Iowa this morning lifting off to the northeast. This is fairly light activity, but it will move over parts of central and northern Iowa over the next couple of hours. There's more back over here in the parts of north central Kansas and eastern Colorado. That disturbance will move over central and southern parts of the state, bringing in a little bit more light snow as we move into the mid morning hours. So you can see that first round quickly exits off to the northeast, but as we get closer to that 9 to 10 o'clock hour, especially from I 80 points south to the Iowa Missouri border, could see some light snow for a few hours this morning, lasting into the early hours of this afternoon. By 1 p.m., most of that beginning to exit the state, and then we're mostly cloudy coming up this evening. Skies will clear from northwest to southeast and we're cold going into Monday morning. Again, at best, most of the snow is going to be light enough to not cause any accumulation, but if you get under one of those heavier bands, maybe a dusting at most. Now, as we go into the day on Monday, skies will be mostly sunny and our winds become more westerly. That'll warm us up to 41 during the afternoon, but then a clipper system comes in Monday night into Tuesday that will bring in more clouds, gusty winds, colder temperatures, and we can can even rule out a little bit of light snow, especially over our northeastern counties going up into the day on Tuesday. Eventually, though, our pattern will change. You can see how the jet stream is still bringing in that cold air from the Arctic Circle region, at least through the Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. But watch how this pattern begins to shift here. More of a westerly flow going into the end of a week, and that will ultimately bring back some warmer temperatures. You can see by Wednesday, we're in the upper 40s and lower 50s coming up Thursday, and then 60s return by Friday. So again, a short lived cold snap for the next couple of days. Halloween looks cold and windy with a chance for a little bit of light snow over our northeastern zones. But Wednesday will be the day of transition. We're up to 47, 52 by Thursday, 60 by Friday, and then next weekend looking a little bit more pleasant for those with some outdoor activities.